This is kind of appropriate. The older I get, the smaller, more uncomfortable places I try to, I end up having to uh, stick myself in. <laughs> and this is really appropriate. I'm, uh, I'm recording from the closet here. And I think I'll try that. Even though that might end up looking way worse on camera, it's actually quite helpful for me. Um, so yeah, I decided if I ever do any YouTube videos again, I'm going to go ahead and I am just going to be myself, my normal frumpy old self. And I'm not going to cover up in makeup. I'm not going to cover up in anything. And I'm going to talk about real life things. And I've been wondering, well, what kind of a channel is it going to be? It's just, you know, basically it's going to be a vlog, uh, obviously. And, you know, I, I am actually, <laughs> I'm 40 years old now. I, I never thought I would make it to 40. So, and especially by this point in life, I've gathered a whole lot of information. And so I guess this is going to be a little bit like a Mr. Rogers sort of thing, but I'm into all kinds of interesting stuff. Um, so, <laughs> I I try so hard to be normal, <laughs> and I just fall short so badly. Um, obviously, you know, my, my channel is called Gla Glasses Geek, Ugh, if I can even get that out straight. And, um, so yeah, I'm into all, I'm into all kinds of geekiness, nerdiness, you know, Back in my day, the word geek and nerd meant the same thing. There was no difference between the two. Nowadays, they've split it up. Uh, I guess you would call me more of a nerd. I, My enjoyment is reading college textbooks. That's what I... I don't read literature. I like reading college textbooks. I like reading dissertations, if you can get your hands on them. Uh, I like reading, you know, the really boring and dry stuff and, um, you know... And I'm into all kinds of interesting, thought-provoking, fascinating, fascinating to me, at least interesting and thought-provoking to me items. And um, yeah, I thought, you know, I hope you all come along for the ride. <laughs> and yes, there's, uh, there, I, I have a brand new microphone here. It's called Fifine, and I like it which is what I'm recording my voice on. And um, I'm, I'm not too good at this cheap editing stuff. So, so if I'm talking and my voice is off my lips, I, I apologize in advance. I can't make it better. I'm doing the best I can. Um, so basically, this is probably going to just be uh, a podcast. You can definitely, you know, put the visuals aside because a lot of this is going to be basically a podcast. I don't know how long each video is going to be. Um, I don't have a very good internet connection right now. In fact, it's, it's equivalent to a dial up. It takes over two hours. It takes about two hours to upload a 15 to 20 minute video. So I'm going to try to keep my videos down to 15 minutes, but I have a tendency to really ramble. As you can tell right now, I'm rambling. Uh, I have no script at all at the moment. <laughs> There was a lot of stuff, uh, and, and I'm just rattled, because, and, yeah, so that was one of the things I was wanting to talk about here. My, uh, my sister blew into town out of the blue. She, uh, she was living out east, and then she was living in the far, what, northeastern corner, technically, of the state that I'm living in. And, you know, she has a tendency to use people. And, like the tornado she is, very angry and violent and wild, she, she's moving back to town here, and she blew in, expected me to take care of her kid, and blew out, and out of the blue, thankfully, she, on a whim, decided not to do that, which I'm grateful for, greatly. Um, but yeah, and, and I hate to get Mr. rogers -y. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to post this as my first video or my second video, but I hate to get all Mr. rogers -y on, uh, 
on everyone, but what do you do when you have a family member who just, who's angry against you, who's verbally very abusive, threatens with violence, and and yet just wants to use you. They, they see everyone around them as something to use. And she does an excellent job of flipping the script or turn, turning the table, making it look like you know, she's the good guy. It's it's interesting. I was uh, I was at a counselor's once, and the counselor said, you know, in very abusive families, there always has to be a bad guy. And the interesting thing is that I think I think my mom said that once too. My mom was big into AA, and she uh, she said in in alcoholic families, I think there's always, or at least she noticed that there's always seemingly bad guys in families and um, I've recently done my best here to I become very settled very peaceful compared to the angry mess I was I, I was an angry mess rightfully so because I was being stomped on and treated so badly and I think I can guarantee you that these videos are going to at least in part be you know, as the comedians say, a, a free therapy session, free counseling for me, since <laughs> since I don't have any money to go to counseling. <laughs> I'll, I'll put up a Patreon page and people can donate to have me go to counseling. <laughs> and I'll impart whatever tidbits of advice and shining gold nuggets of, oh my gosh, and aha moments that I get from that. How about that? <laughs> I hope my microphone is picking me up well enough. I hope I, I'm not having to hold it too close to my mouth. Um, but, yeah, it's interesting. I'm I'm having to live with people right now. And because of that, I, I can't come out of the closet. I'm literally doing this from my closet. <laughs> and it makes sense because I'm, I'm forced to be in, my, in the closet about a lot of things. And I'm hoping... That recording from this closet will keep those items sacred and hidden from certain parties but I don't know I really like this feeling that I'm getting right now I'm getting a lot of peace and I'm glad and I've done my best here to uh to break some bad habits as best I can and to clean up as best I can and breaking bad habits and cleaning up is always a tough journey especially when you've been doing that because there's been you've been trying to cover the abuse that's been involved you know and um but yeah I've I've had some very interesting experiences here, and um, I don't know if this is going to be my first video or what. It might be, but I plan on sharing those interesting experiences with you all. And I hope that whoever watches this can get healing and can get help. And hopefully together we can build a community and have a community of kindred souls. Well, I've hit the 10 minute mark, so I'm going to end this video. And I think I'll do a far more proper introduction. But because of my sister today, she, she literally... She said, will you take care of my kid for, you know, a day? And it just blew my whole schedule apart because I had already, everything was, you know, I'm Asperger's, you know, or at least that's what the quacks call it. I always call it, you know, my sister said, call it socially inept, don't call it socially re retarded. And that's literally what it is. I can't, 
I can't figure out social stuff. So that doesn't help. And I get hurt very, very easily. My mom always picked on me, calling me a overly sensitive, which is very wrong, especially when they're overly sensitive themselves, my mom and my dad. And, um, So, and I lose my train of thought very easily. <laughs> These big, heavy subjects, it's like, you know, how do I talk about this? And I'm not, I'm not entirely sure if I want to talk about it to the whole outside world. If I get a whole lot of grief on any of these videos or anyone picking on me or telling me I should do this, that, or the other thing, then, um, you know, I'm going to take them down. I'm not going to leave them up. But I really need this. I need someone to talk to. And I don't have anyone at the moment. So I'm going to use the camera. And I'm going to be myself. So. And. I hope for your love and support through all of it. So. Before I go down any other tangents or lines of thought, <laughs> um, give me a big thumbs up <laughs> if you like this video, <laughs> like I'm some advertiser. And uh, since I've completely forgot my line of thought, I'm just going to end this. My, my brain is, I've been forgetting stuff as of the other day, but yeah. But I'm really discombobulated because, oh, that's what I was going to say. My sister blew into town. She said, we watch my kid for a day. I had schedules already set up. I, I got stuff set up in stone. I'm going to do this, 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 and this. And it helps me stay on track. It helps my life stay organized. And it saves me from becoming an absolute mess. And it also keeps me from doing stuff that I shouldn't be doing, <laughs> you know. Back in the day, it would have been drinking way too much coffee. So, <laughs> but uh, of course, back in the day, it would have also, all that stress would have led me to drinking coffee. But anyway, <laughs> so she blew my schedule to pieces and I was like, well, that's, it's just going to be for a day. But then she decides when she drops her kids off here today, you know, oh, you're going to watch them, you know, for the entire weekend, you know, the rest of the New Year's and holiday. And it's like, no, I got stuff I got to set up and do for the new year, you know. And then out of the blue, she thankfully decides, no, that isn't going to be the case. So. So, yeah, not mean to be like Mr. Rogers, but what do you do in a situation like that? Especially when the individual that you're dealing with doesn't respect you at all. And they belittle you, but then they expect you to serve them. She doesn't see me as worthy of taking care of her own kid, but then she expects me to take care of her kid, you know, and she doesn't even see me as worthy of holding a conversation with her. She won't say hi to me. She won't say goodbye to me. She has nothing but pure evilness just coming out of her towards me. And yet she just expected me to drop my life and care for her problems and what was going on in her life. And it wasn't like it was an emergency either. This wasn't like, shit's melting down, help me out. You know, this wasn't like, I'm being evicted. You know, it wasn't like, I gotta leave. It, nothing like that at all. She's just, you know, she's coming back into town and she saw a fast and easy and free babysitter. And she expected me to be a free babysitter. So... And there was no telling her no. So I'm grateful that she decided to call it off. I suspect I know why, but I don't know the actual reason. So, because I sent her a text and said I wanted to talk because I'd like to clear the air. And that caused her to come and pick up her kid. So that that showed everything right there. So... Yeah, so I don't mean to be getting all Mr. Rogers <laughs> for the first video, but I live in a very terrible and harrowing life 
And um, if this if this video gets any number of views, anything above 10, you know, I'll be grateful. If this gets even one thumbs up, I'll be grateful. You know, you don't have to comment. You don't have to say anything. Just give me a thumbs up to let me know that, you know, you like something about it or you like me or you like the candidness or just anything at all. Maybe you just like the fact that I'm a 40 year old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so embarrassing. Oh yeah, I'm a 40-year-old whose life is pitted out in such shit that I'm having to talk from the inside of a a Walmart closet. <laughs> from the inside of a closet. So <laughs> But yeah. That's it. So, since I already went past the 15-minute mark, I think I'll cut it off here, so Bye. <laughs> Bye.